everybody! <laughs> wow, I look really horrible right now. So let's just get this intro out of the way. Hi everybody, so it is Sunday and I am doing some studying going on over there because my family shelf exam is this Friday. Rumored to be a very difficult exam, so I'm very worried and I feel very unprepared. So today I'm doing as much studying as I can. I need to do tons of practice questions, I need to do tons of reading, I gotta do a lot. So I'm gonna go do that right now and of course, and like always, you're coming with me. This is a golden watermelon. They make those. And I have just stress eaten the heck out of my watermelon while doing my questions. Now this website called Exam Guru came up to me and asked me to try their product and they have a whole bunch of questions that designated to family medicine. So I've been trying them. It looks really cool, looks like this. The only reason that I didn't want to use UWorld is because UWorld doesn't have specific family medicine shelf questions. So right now I'm using Exam Guru. And depending how I do on my shelf exam, I'll let you know if Exam Guru was very helpful or not. When I'm not using my Exam Guru to practice questions, I can also be using my Quizlet, which is going to help me learn all of these darn guidelines. And then my favorite resource has been Case File Family Medicine. Like honestly, this this is everything. I don't even read anything else because Case Files is the best. The only thing I wish is that I had the fourth edition instead of the third because some things in here are out of date. But oh my gosh, this has reading over almost every single disease that you can see as a family medicine doctor, which I'm sure will be super helpful for my exam. But like I said before, I have no idea if any of this stuff is actually going to help me because I haven't taken my shelf exam. So I'll just let you know. This is my schedule for the rest of the week. So it is Sunday, but tomorrow I have clinic all day long. And then on Tuesday I have a half day off, a half day at the clinic. Wednesday I have a whole bunch of schoolwork. Thursday I have half a clinic and then a half day off. And then Friday is the NBME Family Medicine Shelf Exam. This half day, this is basically a half day, this is a half day. So I have a lot of free time during this week to be really, really prepared. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get studying. So far on my exam guru tests, I have been doing pretty average. In order to get an A in the class, I need to get over a 75 on the shelf exam. And in order to just pass, I need to get over 60. If I get an A or a B, that would be amazing. I'm just gonna try my best and see what happens. I also cleaned my fabulous white coat and need to bedazzle it with all of my Gems when you're basically a Pokemon master. All right guys back to studying not playing around Oh, and sometime uh, today. I have to do something about my hair. All right making the exam shelf family med I'm putting it on time so I can get some practice new allopathic and I want all of the subjects and we're gonna do 10 so far I've done 30 let's do 40 total start and Okay Another re really awesome study idea is to go to a location without anything other than your books. No electronics, no phone, no laptop. And that way, you're forced to stay here for hours with a treat, like coffee, with no distractions. So get to work. Studying, finished my drink. I'm on case 25. Hopefully we'll be on case 30 by the end of the night. Okay, getting hungry, so we're gonna bounce and work at home. Now, when I get into study mode, I get really hungry. Well, actually, I don't even get hungry, but this is just a good way of keeping me awake. This is some Greek plain yogurt, some granola, and blueberries, and it's a great study snack. Lord be with me, it's 9.30 and I'm only on case 26, and I really wanted to get to case 30. So I'm gonna go straight, keep on reading until about 11 o'clock. So wish me luck. Probably gonna finish the night with chapter 28 because this one is long and it's 11.30, so. Oh, wow. What even are these under eye circles? This is what your future looks like, guys. I hope you like it. Alrighty, finally at case 29. And I can't move because Calyx has decided to go cute nap on my legs. So I guess I'll just stay here forever. So every night I pack up my lunch for the next day so that uh, I can eat. If I don't pack my lunch then I basically don't eat or I spend money that I don't have. So here's my lunch box. Uh, I made some sandwiches and I packed some strawberries. And then I always try to pack a full water bottle or in this case this is tea with caffeine in it. Because um, I don't know that sounds really helpful. So. I'm just gonna leave that here and then we'll pick it up in the morning. 
Then another thing that I do to make my Sundays go smoother, because I have this problem of, you know, wanting to stay in bed as long as possible. And uh, I just kind of get ready for that inevitable inevitableness by getting all my clothes ready, packing my lunch, and making sure that it's pretty swift to get out the door. Now, I usually hate wearing pants because I'm at work for eight hours and I just hate being in pants. So my go-to is a skirt. This is a nice fun skirt. This is a businessy skirt. This is a skirt that I ripped and uh, tried pathetically to sew together. This is a party skirt, but we won't go into that. And then I have like these nice business shirts. Yeah, I just kind of put something together. Okay, so I'm going to be wearing this dark blue loft long sleeve shirt. I'm going to be daring and wear some silver pants and then some black shoes from Aldo. So I leave it all here folded on my chair with my shoes right here and I always try to make sure to put my white coat on top because I have this problem of driving halfway to my clerkship without having my white coat, which is a big no-no. So my white coat is here and I cannot forget to put it on. My keys are out, my backpack is packed. I then say goodbye to, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. You guys never see this violent side of Calyx. Ah, he's got the midnight jitters. Anyways, I say goodbye to Calyx. I get really sad because he's really, as you can see, hyper around midnight because that's just what cats do, I guess. And this is when I like turn off all the lights and basically by the time I wake up, the rug will be folded over. This thing will be all the way over there. I definitely have to keep the door closed to my bedroom or because this cat will climb and jump on me. So. Now we go to the room, and we pass out. Ah, all right, good night world. Okay, so actually one more thing. So these are my alarms. I have a 5.30 a.m. alarm clock, 6, 6.30, and a 7 o'clock. And the reason I do this is because I can't just have a sudden awakening at 7. I need to be prepared for my awakening at 7. Anyway, you guys, peace. All right, guys, so I woke up 10 minutes ago, and I'm extremely late for work, so let's go. when the patient is here for a follow-up and they have absolutely no record on file. Like, what am I following up on? I have no idea. Hey guys, so I am out of work. I'm taking the stairs because I try to get some sort of exercise, even though I'm pretty much always standing. The unwritten rule is that MS3s and MS4s stand while interns and attendings get to sit in the chair when we see a patient. So. Now, we are gonna go home, eat, because I'm so freaking hungry, and say goodbye to the hospital. This is what it looks like. It's kind of small, but I, I, I like that it's small. It has actually a lot of different specialists. Oh my goodness, so I was running really late this morning, so I took my breakfast in my car, and yeah, it smells like spoiled milk in here now, because that is a parfait, so great! My last Monday at this clinic. I really like this clinic because it seems really updated, and I get to see all types of patients, not just, you know, geriatric patients, so that's cool. But anyways, let's go home, because we are hungry. Hey guys, so for my next trick, I got home at five, it's 7.30 and I haven't done anything related to school because I tell myself, you know, you deserve two hours of rest, America. You worked a nine hour shift. And then when the two hours is up, I'm like, yeah, that was not worth it. So I'm gonna get back on target and right now I'm going to do a 60 question test on Exam Guru and see how I do. Alrighty, so we are going to create an exam. We're doing Really mad. Timed. New questions. Next. And we're gonna do all of them. And we're gonna do 60. Because uh, I only have four days left. <laughs> so I have to do 60 a day. Alrighty, and start the exam. So let you know how it goes, guys. Oh, wow. I suck. Well, the good thing is, think about all of the knowledge I will learn by going through all of my incorrect questions. Just think of it that way. I was doing so well and then, whoa, whoa, what's going on? What's going on? So many wrong questions. Oh my gosh. Okay, time for a break. Good thing is that I don't have work tomorrow at 8 a.m. I have it at 1 p.m. so I can stay up a little late to do my reading after I go through all of these wrong 
wrong answers. It is nine o'clock now, I've woken up, I feel nice and rested. Okay, we are back to reading. Okay guys, so I am ready to go. Got my hair straightened, got my outfit ready. I'm gonna put my white coat on and not forget about that. And then we will go to work. So we are here at work, I'm going to get to my bag. We're gonna go upstairs and start with patience. I'm going to go to Starbucks right now because I just need to not be where my TV and my laptop are. All right, we're here at Starbucks. Thank you Starbucks for being there for me. I didn't deserve you. Why is there no one here? <laughs> is this open? I wish Starbucks was 24 seven, that would be the best. Alrighty, here is the situation. I am on case 34 and I hope to get to case 40 by the end of the day. And that is only this many more pages. Ta-da! So let's do it and get our coffee and try our best. Caramel goodness. Okay guys, so I have two more, three more chapters to read in my book and then I'm going to do some questions tonight. We are well fed, we have motivation, we have the reading. So let's get to business. Okay, reading done. Time to go to sleep. Hey guys, okay so it is school day so I am not dressed too crazy and no makeup. I'm just gonna go to school, do my little presentation that I'm gonna show you, and then that we are doing more exam questions. I just got out of class, gonna read my book. Just learned that the, quiz, the test is 90 questions, 10 questions are experimental, and we get a minute and a half per question, so no one ever runs out of time, so yeah. Interesting spot, Calyx, interesting spot. I just finished 60 questions on Exam Guru. So we're to 68 on my new test, which is better than average, but still sucks. Like, I just had a question about Paget's disease. I wanna know one family doctor who has encountered Paget's disease. There's just so many questions about rare diseases that I'm starting to doubt if this is a good resource. I'm going to do the um, American Board of Family Medicine questions right now, 2017. That's all the questions I'm gonna do. I did 300 of Exam Guru, and now I'm going to do as many as I can in this 2017 ABFM exam. And I'm going to just let you know on Friday which one I thought was more accurate of the actual test. Okay, so after I watched a sketchy video about stats, I'm reviewing some important documents that my uh, school gave me. Of the following, which one is most likely to improve this patient's sleep? Well, obviously, is sleeping with her pet cat. Ain't that right, Caster? Caster? Wow, guys. So this is a question about what type of solution should you use to cleanse a pressure ulcer? And the answer is, guess what? Tap water. Why, though? Why does that make sense? So I just did 50 of these questions. I'm going to sleep. Tomorrow, if I do any more questions, I'm definitely going back to Exam Guru when I felt like I actually learned something instead of just guessing. And uh, then I'm going to read the heck out of my case files book. And now I'm going to sleep. Calyx has the right idea. Let's go to sleep, guys. Hey guys, so I just finished my last day here at this clinic. Now we're gonna go home and get to studying for our shelf exam tomorrow. Okay guys, now I'm at home. I have my books to read. And today I'm just going to read, read, don't stop. And uh, I'm out a lot of ideas. So if this doesn't work, then I don't know what will. Calyx? Any reason that you're all up in my business? Did you guys know that rabbits are not a source of the rabies virus? Neither are rats. Just a few more reasons to love bunnies. And did you know that hardly any rabies is ever caused by a cat bite? He looks like a potato. The top three bites that a human will ever get are from a cat, a dog, and a human. I just wanna know why humans are biting each other. Do you see these teeth? They are not sharp at all. What do you expect to be doing when you bite somebody? Calyx, I seriously want to know what foot that is. <laughs> Cause there's his paw and his other one. <laughs> Dang guys, look at this. Hepatitis B causes up to 80% of the hepatocellular carcinoma worldwide. It's just crazy how so many cancers are caused mainly by viruses like hepatitis B, HPV, HIV. And it's just crazy because hepatitis B has a vaccine. And apparently two billion people in this world will be infected with hepatitis B. But there's a vaccine that almost everyone in America gets when they're born. <laughs> How is that like possible? By the way guys, if you thought doctors having bad handwritings was just a stereotype, no, 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 it's an actual thing. I never really 
definitely had awesome handwriting, but I definitely didn't have this scribble scrabble handwriting. Is there a roach? Kellex, you better kill that. Oh yeah. Kellex! Oh wow, you let it go away, Kellex. All right, we are on case 50. All my work so far. These are just the notes that I've been taking on all of the cases that I've done. And this has been a very, very lengthy process. While I'm on break from studying, I'm gonna go ahead and put my clothes out for tomorrow. If you guys have watched my vlogs, you guys know that this medicine long sleeve shirt is my lucky shirt. During first and second year, I've always been like, oh my goodness, like I'm, this is the day, this is the final countdown. And now I'm just kinda like, no, this is like an 80 question test. 10 questions don't even count. And there's really no definite way to study for this. You know, in first and second year, I had to finish all the PowerPoints. I had to do all the reading that we did in class. Well, there was no class, there was no lectures, there were no PowerPoints. So I don't have to pull an all-nighter because I kind of did everything that I could. So that's awesome because for the rest of my life, I never have to pull all-nighters ever again. If y'all knew me, y'all knew that was my life. But that's not my life anymore because I'm older, I'm mature, and I'm young. Okay, first thing first, don't be late. The test is at nine, so I need a 6.30, a 7, 7.30, and a alarm. And I'm just going to read until I pass out. So peace out, YouTube. Well, 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 good morning everyone. This is what I wake up to every morning. All right guys, I'm heading out. Okay guys, we have arrived. Wow, what a beautiful day to be tortured. Wish me luck guys. Bye, on the other side I will be done with family myth. Woohoo, hello everybody. First impressions of the test are it is a lot easier than exam guru or those AFP questions. And I only say that because those questions are ridiculously, ridiculously hard. So I'm pretty sure that I passed. I might have gotten a B, but that's okay because it's over. And I can't believe it's over. Like I'm never going to that clinic ever again or any of those clinics. And now I'm a pediatric rotation. So dear my students. So come at me kids. Word on the street is nobody survives their pediatric rotation without at least one episode of Otis Media or Sore Throat. All right guys, so that is over. I can finally put this into the pile. Goodbye family medicine. And my mom is visiting in a little bit so my apartment could definitely use some cleaning. Okay, I cleaned myself and the whole apartment. Everything is nice and clean. Me and my mom are here with Calix and we're gonna watch him frolic and run around. Oh, there he is, doing tricks. Come on, Caleb, what are you scared of? <laughs> Mama! <laughs> Mama, do a sneak attack. <laughs> hey guys, so this is the end of the video. I usually end it by saying goodbye, and then I'll see you in my next video, but luckily, if you made it to the end of the video, you get to know about an awesome giveaway that I'm doing with USMLE RX. If you watched my How I Studied for Step video, you would know that USMLE RX Express videos were a core component of me studying for my Step 1 exam. USMLE RX offers these things called Express videos, which are five to seven minute videos that walk you through every single page of first aid and teach you everything. Ways to memorize things, explanations, they ask questions at the end of every video to see if you've been following along. And I honestly thought that USMLE RX was a lifesaver. Now, I already love them before USMLE RX came to me. But now that they know how much I love their product, they're willing to give one of my subscribers a whole year subscription to USMLE RX 360. You get the Express videos, QMAX, and the flashbacks all for free for a year. And if you get the subscription, you also get first aid for free. All you have to do is comment down below why you want a full year subscription to USMLE RX, subscribe to my channel, and like this video. I'll also link down below the USMLE RX challenge. You can click on it and it will let you compare a question from their QBank to two other leading QBanks and see which one you like the most. Okay guys, so that's the giveaway. I will pick a winner by next week. And as always, I hope you like this video and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye everybody!